Taylor, but what are you really? You're not full English, are you? Full English is it's a true story. It's a story of Natalie, who's in the show and um, is the associate artist of the company for this project. And it's about her exploring her own mixed race heritage. And in doing so, it tells the story of her grandmother, Nan, and how her Nan fell in love with someone who'd come from Pakistan to work in the mills back in the 60s. My Nan has been somebody who's been there my entire life but also somebody who I've supported. With her mental health, um, she needed somebody there quite a lot, but at the same time we had this unique bond that I've never had with anybody else. So I play a character called Sahil. His storyline is similar to what my dad went through, because my dad was first generation um, from the sub-Indian continent, but you've got the story of you know dual heritage characters, you've got the story of first generation British, Asians, and also white working class. G. Weak at the knees. <laughs> G, G. Wet behind the ears. There's a part where me and Sahail meet and we go to Manningham for the first time. And I see all the colour of Manningham, the tunics, the spices, and we do a dance. And I think that encapsulates just what she casts feeling at that time, this sort of whirlwind romance, this Romeo and Juliet feeling that she has. What a touching, beautiful, warm, heartbreaking at times, something I could kind of really relate to that British Asian experience and it was really lovely to hear to my own language in a play. Bradford's a place for eccentrics and outsiders and people escaping and that's what the play was about. It's very personal, it's very local, but it's absolutely universal. I think the story is, is one to be told and one to be heard. The use of like the projection and like shadows and that really made you feel like you were like inside the room. People are living with mixed race heritage and still struggling with their identity. Still trying to find a place. Still asking the question, well I'm not that and I'm not that, so who am I? And it dawned on me that I've spent my entire life wishing I was that. Full English. But who could be more English? More Bradford than me.